Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming out. I want to thank Maven Construction Company. This is their office, Todd Melo and DJ Doherty. It's a beautiful place. They've been in business now for five years. Construction Company, 28 employees, and this is the kind of business that makes South Carolina work, so we're glad to be here. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, South Carolina is on the move, and people all over the world know it. You've heard me talk about people outside of the country, how they look at us, how they, they see us, and that's why they're coming to South Carolina, is because they like what they see. Our unemployment rate right now is the lowest in 17 years at 3.9%. More of us are working than ever before, and many of the world's most respected companies have joined us, including BMW, Volvo, Michelin, GT, Bridgestone, Volvo, IBM, and Samsung, just to name a few, and there are more on the way, and they're all coming for the same reason. It's because of the assets we have, university, technical colleges, great port, transportation, a low labor rate, 1.9%, uh, all great weather, but most of all, as they all say, great people, great people. The progress we've made is no accident. There are generations of people who've worked us to get us to where we are today. And now it's up to us, those of us in this room, to take it to the limits of our possible prosperity. This is the time for South Carolina, and we are ready. We are ready. We believe in a number of things. We believe in hard work, imagination, opportunity, and the value of skill and perseverance. We believe in the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the rule of law. We believe that people should be free to live their lives and pursue their dreams, free of burdens in government, taxation, and regulation. We believe in the rights of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, and that's for the born as well as the unborn. We believe in defeating those who would do us harm, and we will never cower to criminals, tyrants, or terrorists. We believe in prayer, and we say, please, thank you, sir and ma'am, and we say, <laughs> Merry Christmas. We believe in America. We are proud of South Carolina. We are proud of America, and we are proud of the people, the people of South Carolina, who through it all since 1670 have brought us to where we are today. Because of all these things, because of our great future, because of our great potential, our great potential in the role that we play in the life of this great nation, which is a unique role to lead in the life of our great nation. It's because of this I'm happy to introduce to the people of South Carolina today someone who is ready, willing, and able to go to work with me to see that all of our people have the opportunity to accomplish their dreams for themselves and for their families. She loves this state as much as Peggy and I do, and our families. She's a business leader who in 17 years, with her husband David, built an idea into a nearly $1 billion company. They have beautiful children, three, Amanda, Joey, and Jackson, and they treasure their community, colleagues, and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you the next Lieutenant Governor of South Carolina, Pamela Evitt. Pamela. Thank you so much, Governor McMaster. I am so proud to stand here today with Governor McMaster, a man who has been a devoted to serving the people of our great state. He has always favor action over rhetoric. While his record of consistent, principled, conservative leadership speaks for itself, like many of you, I have been impressed with his honesty, his decency, his commitment to the people of South Carolina. The governor and I share very common ideals, and while we have very different backgrounds and experiences, our complementary skill sets will combine to deliver a tremendous benefit to improve the lives of the people all across this great state. As a product of the American dream, I am committed to paying it forward. It's this desire to do good and provide a voice for others has driven my decision to join Governor McMaster's campaign. Henry and I realize that too often these days, public service has become neither about the public nor service. We've seen government failing to limit its activities to those few things that only it can do and not do those few things well. 
Sadly, it has become an obstacle rather than a partner for families in our state. Hardworking, decent people across our state have not just given up, they've concluded that politics is their problem. So we must return power where it belongs, to the people, to do better. That requires us, all elected officials, who care about South Carolina, to face the future with a desire to challenge the status quo, unwavering honesty, a deep sense of personal accountability, and a no-nonsense approach to rolling up our sleeves and expecting more. It's high time for all of us to aim higher. Let me give you a little bit of insight into who I am. I am the founder and CEO of Quality Business Solutions, a payroll HR firm headquartered here in Travelers West. My husband David and I started our firm in our home, and in 17 years, we've taken it to a startup company, to a company that now has revenues over a billion dollars, serving people and companies in 49 states. The secret to our success is simple. We remember where we came from and who we work for. My father, a tool and die maker was perhaps the hardest working man I've ever known. He was also decent, determined, and wise. He instilled in me a fierce work ethic, a strong moral compass, and a willingness to speak truth to power, and a deep desire to serve others. He also set very high personal standards. He expected no less than our very best and taught us the importance of faith family, and personal accountability. My mother provided me with daily examples of service and self-sacrifice. Together, they gave me the three key rules in my life, to work hard, to do good, and to aim higher. I've used these rules to build my business. We do what we say we'll do, and we give 100%, and we consistently look for better ways of doing things. Most importantly, we never lose sight of the fact that thousands of people across this state and country depend on us to ensure they get their paychecks, money they've worked hard for, money that puts food on their table and keeps a roof over their heads. I have seen firsthand the harm that can be done to people when government oversteps their bounds. I've also seen the benefits of smart, economic, and regulatory policies. As a business owner and a member of the South Carolina Small Business Regulatory Committee, I have relentlessly pursued advocacy efforts related to creating and fostering a kind of business climate which companies are free to grow and to thrive. I am also a mother, a daughter, and a concerned South Carolinian who knows that our actions are so much bigger than ourselves. As a leader who benefited from the advice and counsel of others, I have advised other small businesses to help them grow, prosper, create jobs, and stimulate our economic growth. And as someone who has been blessed to live in a multi-generational household with parents and grandparents, I am passionate about the central importance of family in solving many of society's problems in protecting and valuing the most vulnerable, the unborn to the elderly. I've always told my employees, no problem is too big to be fixed. And I truly believe Henry and I can help provide solutions for our state. That being said, I understand and I will never lose sight of the fact that the power belongs with you, the people of this great state. I vow with your help, to bring all the energy, the passion, the knowledge, and the know-how I've used to build my business from scratch and return that power to you. Together, we can make a real difference and leave this beautiful state that we love much better than we found it for ourselves, for our children, and for our grandchildren. I am incredibly honored to begin this campaign, and I ask you to join Henry and me and our efforts to fight for you. I assure you, we will never forget who we work for. I thank you, God bless you, and God bless the great state of South Carolina.
That's a great speech. Thanks.